Hello and welcome to God's Minute. I'm Pastor Jonathan Conrad and I am the senior pastor at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Wilmington, North Carolina. Today I want to share with you a passage from the Gospel of Matthew. Do not judge so that you may not be judged. For with the judgment you make, you will be judged. And the measure you give will be the measure you get. Why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your neighbor, let me take the speck out of your eye while the log is in your eye? Today, I wanna to talk about mirrors. We use mirrors to make ourselves look pretty, to brush our hair and brush our teeth and get ready to take on the day. But I want you this weekend to focus on another mirror, this. This Bible is not only a book, it's a mirror. And I think this passage today from the Gospel of Matthew is something that we need to look at because it gives us a chance to look at ourselves. You see, Jesus really wants us to pay more attention on our own sins, our own failures, rather than spending all of our time and all of our thought process on what our neighbors are doing wrong. The way we deal with sin, it's what I call the bookend effect. We start on one side talking about the sins of our neighbor. And then you have this middle part where we talk about our sins very briefly. And then it ends with more talk about our, our neighbor's sins. You see how that goes? And that's the way our culture is. We really don't like to spend the time talking about our own sins. We want to brush by it. We now apologize by saying, if I offended you, then I am sorry. Of course, you wouldn't be making the apology unless you did offend somebody. And I think what we need to do is have a reverse bookend. We start talking about our sins. Then we can talk about our neighbor's sin, but then we finish again going back to our sins and reflecting like a mirror on how we can improve our life our actions, and our deeds. Because when we focus more on what we have done wrong, and then we really soak in the, the, the belief and the faith that God forgives us, even when we have done our worst, that God forgives us and gives us a clean slate. God has taken all the sins on the chalkboard and erased them all. When we think about that grace and the relief we have, knowing that God is ready to give us that new life, that new lease on life, then maybe, no, not maybe, I truly believe, then we can start to notice the people around us and not concentrate on their sins, but on the same grace that God has given them, the same grace that God has given us. And when we do that, when we really reflect on our sins and we take that log out of our own eye, then we can see one another as people, as children, children of the same father, the father who is all love, all the time, all forgiving, and is always ready for a new start. Look in the mirror, think about what you have done, but also remember what God has done and what God continues to do. Thank you for joining me today. Please have a good and safe weekend. I'll see you next week for another edition of God's Minute. Take care.